1947 Nash 600 Super four door saloon. Uh, this is the walk around video uh, for auction purposes. Front end chrome on the car is absolutely superb. Uh, every piece of this car belongs to this car. There's nothing being added, nothing being taken away. It's all the original engine, gearbox, rear axle. Everything's all original on the bodywork too. Uh, when we stripped the car down to paint it, there wasn't any rust found apart from a single little pinhole which was uh, on the uh, where there was a re leaky rear seal on the door. Uh, so we fixed all that, that's been all cut out and done. Uh, but everything else is just as per it should be. There's not a single new panel on the car, it's as per 1947. We are the second owners. Uh, the original owner was from Kansas City, a lady called Dana Bodecker. Uh, we have all the paperwork and her family kept it after she passed away. Uh, so we took the car over uh, and brought it over from Kansas City um, and we have enjoyed it for 22 years. The trunk area is uh, lined out with rubber, um, it's got the original uh, actual tyre on the spare in there which holds air, it's really good. Uh, we have a trunk carrier which has just got bits and pieces in there. There's a few bits and pieces we've accrued in there for the car. The rear chrome is just as good as the, as the front. Um, the things we have done on the car, apart from the obvious paint, because it was black when we got it, uh, we have done uh, the interior, because the original broadcloth, it was more expensive to replace the broadcloth than it was to do it with the leather that we've done. So we've actually done the car with a leather interior, um, which is holding up very well. It's been in for a, a long time. Uh, we actually redid the original brown painted metal door frames on the inside. We've redone them with a burr walnut to match the color of the interior, uh, including the dash as well. So it's all very bright and cheerful in there. There's quite a few accessories on the car. So we have things like, um, We've got the fog light switch there. There's even a torch, which is a Nash torch. Uh, we have an accessory temperature gauge, because uh, the originals are useless. All the other gauges work, so all the things like the uh, fuel and everything, they all go through. A speedy obviously works. Clock works as well. And uh, yeah, the interior was redone by a nice chap who uh, who's done a very good job, exactly what we wanted to do. And the headlining is uh, from a Rolls-Royce material. He had some that was just right for the job, so we used that. Uh, and in the back of the uh, car, obviously you have the, uh, what's termed suicide doors. And uh, in the back there's some of the trophies the cars won. Uh, we don't actually go out to win trophies. We just park the car up and then we end up having trophies given to us. Uh, there's a Nash cool box there, which I had pinstriped, so it matches in nicely with the red and yellow. Uh, we've got a book about the car. This in the back here, this little metal uh, disc, this was actually originally from uh, 1950s um, like cereal packets. The kids used to collect them, put them on a board, but we thought it looked nice in there, so my upholsterer actually did that for us too. Um, if you buy the car, you can have the hat. We have many. All the um, bright work on the side is all the original stainless and there's not a, not a dent in it. The worst part is the bit at the back, which has a little bit of rippling in it, but it's nothing to write home about and it doesn't detract from the look of the car. Uh, the spot lamp is original to the car as well and it all works as well. So we have a, a fully working fog light with its turn ability inside. It's very useful on dark areas during the nighttime driving. Um, the sun visor, we found it was second hand, so it was an original piece, it wasn't a repro one. 
uh, we had to make some parts for it. I've only ever seen another one like this, so that's pretty unique too. Uh, the little red accessories on the doors and the one on the hood, they're actually uh, original period accessories we managed to find in red, because there is little red accents like the peaks on the lights there, and in set inside is red as well, so there's lots of red little tricks on there, just breaks up the yellow. Um, under the hood, of course the famous Nash hood ornament is gorgeous. Apparently WH Mason's wife posed for the picture, for the uh, sculpture. He was the uh, chairman of Nash at the time. And there's the engine, uh, got it running already just because I can't go and start it. Uh, we have an electric accessory fan. Uh, the car also has electronic ignition. It also has uh, things like the carburetor have all been fully rebuilt. The engine's been completely gone through, but it is the original one to the car. We have an alternator, six volt positive earth alternator instead of the original dynamo. And the original leaky water pump that was on the Nash's, we've replaced that with, down in the bowels there, is an electric water pump. So the, the actual tank holds lots of pressure, doesn't overheat and it's just spectacular to drive. Uh, it will sit in traffic, so it's unusual for an old car where it actually just sits in traffic quite nicely. I'll close this now. The radio in the car as well, this is original on the invoice for the car, uh, and it's uh, Motorola. So the Motorola radio has been gone through as well. It's, uh, it's running Bluetooth, it's got a connectivity to phones. Uh, you can just play radio stations through it or play music off your device. Uh, so that makes it a whole lot nicer to drive along. Uh, it's got the Nash Weather Eye system, which is a standard thing for most Nashes of the 40s and 50s. And it was unique to Nash. Uh, it basically works, it's got a temperature control device inside which you just turn a knob and it turns the heating from like low to high like on a modern car and it's also got a defrost system which is twin electric fans inside and there's also little vents inside which can direct the air. So everything's really good, it's got some nice fire, Firestone white walls on. The extra white wall bits there, they are actually unique to Nash and they came with the car from the factory and Nash produced them in white uh, to actually make it look like a white wall when you didn't actually have them just after the war. So along with the white walls it makes a unique look to the side of the car. Uh, there's absolutely zero rust on the car and it's one of those cars we're kind of sad to see the back of it after 22 years. but. We do have other things in, in plan, so it's time to go and somebody else can enjoy it for another 22 years, hopefully. Um, so yeah, you won't need to do anything to the car, just take it to a show, win some prizes and have fun. Thank you very much.